Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how to create the smoothest and most stabilized speed ramps you can achieve in After Effects. As an AM Film subscriber, you're probably already familiar with my usual speed ramping workflow and the steps I follow. I typically start by speed ramping all the clips, then move on to stabilizing them. But I've received a lot of questions asking if that's the right order, and why I don't stabilize the footage first. The truth is, both methods are valid, it really depends on what feels more comfortable for you. Since many of you requested a tutorial on stabilizing first and then applying speed ramps, that's exactly what I'll walk you through in this video. First we're going to scroll through the video and trim out the parts we don't need at the beginning and end. For example I want my clip to start from this point and end right here. Now that I've trimmed it down, I have a clean section of footage and I'm ready to start stabilizing. Make sure to scroll to the very beginning of the clip, then click on Stabilize Motion. Next increase the size of the track point and drag it over the wheel, since in this case I'm locking the stabilization onto the wheel. Also let me quickly explain how the track point works, since many of you are beginners and it's important to understand this part. The small inner box is called the feature region and it tells After Effects what detail to follow, like a bolt or part of the wheel. The larger outer box is the search region, where After Effects will look for the detail in the next frames. Keep the inner box tightly around a clear feature, and adjust the outer box depending on how much movement there is. Once everything is set correctly, click on Options. Make sure RGB is selected and enable Adapt feature on every frame, this helps make the analysis process much smoother. After that click OK, then hit the Analyze Forward button to start tracking. Once the tracking is complete, click Apply and then hit OK. Close the tracking window, and make sure to enable the proportional grid, this will help you identify the center of the frame, making it easier to align and lock onto the wheel. Before that, let's fix the black edges caused by the stabilization. Simply scale up the video until the edges are no longer visible. Once that's done, adjust the position of the clip to center the wheel precisely. Now let's preview the result. As you can see the wheel is perfectly locked on and the stabilization is incredibly smooth. Now we're ready to move on to the speed ramping part. First let's pre-compose the clip. Make sure to select Move All Attributes and adjust Composition Duration, then click OK. Now I'll position the clip where it needs to be and then enable Time Remapping. Since we've already trimmed the beginning and end of the video, there's no need to adjust the timing manually. Instead, I'll simply drag the last keyframe to align with the next beat drop in the song like this. I'll also trim the layer after the second keyframe. Next select both keyframes and press F9 to apply Easy Ease. Then open the Graph Editor, right-click inside it and choose Edit Value Graph. Adjust the curve to create a smooth speed ramp. Once you're done adjusting the curve, close the Graph Editor. Next enable Frame Blending on the layer. Since this is a pre-composed layer, you'll need to double-click the pre-comp to open it, then enable Frame Blending on the original clip inside. After that, close the tab and return to your main composition to check the speed ramp. And that's it, everything looks smooth. The other clips in this composition have been stabilized and speed ramped using the same process. The final steps are to add motion blur for extra smoothness and of course apply shake effects to enhance the overall feel. For motion blur, I'll be using RSMB Pro. If you don't have that plugin, the built-in CC Force motion blur works well too. For the shake effects, I'll apply one from my shakes pack. Let's take a look at the final result and we're done. Hope you found this video helpful, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, please give it a like.